So continuing about the uh, uh, line tilde uh, to turn the audio on and off with um, some kind of a shape. So let's just uh, make a scope here. Oops, scope. Um, I'm just typing this is faster for me than going to look for it, but you can do that by audio disguise scope. It's the same thing. Anyway, okay, so um, as we learned in a, a, a normal um, line ramp generator, you could do this. You could do um, from the destination, um, from comma, destination, ramp time. So if I do this directly to the line, so every instance is from 0 to 1, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and so on and so forth, are multiplying the cycle. Uh, sine wave, so that's why you get this, right? And if I want to decrescendo, you do something like from one to zero in like a faster decrescendo. You can do that. So let's see, and decrescendo to three and off. No, this doesn't really show you much. Let's do this here. Let's see, one, two, three, and off, and so on. Um, you could uh, do, you know, even more. So once it gets to the one, okay. So I want to stay there for another three seconds. So stay there for three seconds, and we go down to a piano, a soft sound. Um, with a sweet or kind of a sweet piano for half a second and stay there for I don't know four seconds then go back up again in one second stay there <laughs> for three seconds and finally back to zero in um, can't even see anymore here it's a long long line here uh, back to zero in a long decay, like I don't know, six seconds or something. Okay, so let's hear this. Go up, two, three, and stay there, two, three, and back to really soft piano uh, for four seconds, and up to one again, two, three, and fade out slowly back to zero. It's all nice and everything, but can you imagine typing all this? No. So uh, they made something uh, really nice called a function table that you can use. Um, you can either type, which I usually do, or, oh gosh, I always cannot find it. Here. There it is. Audio there. This little thing called a function table. And if you look at the, uh, it's, it's a huge um, object. You can do a lot of stuff, right? basically breakpoint function editor so line um, line gives you um, break breakpoint editor right so it goes to 1 and back to 0 0.2 and so on and so forth instead of typing this yucky number you can just do it in here so uh, you have to get out of the edit mode just type your points and I said something about sustaining for three seconds and so on and so forth, right? So um, default of this function table, you can run your mouse over the dots that you just created anywhere. Uh, if you don't like the dot, you shift click on it and it will disappear like this. And you can grab them and when it touches the ground, it turns white. See this? Right now it's uh, X is the time, Y is the amplitude. So zero amplitude at the beginning. So when I, as soon as I touch the ground, it becomes zero. It says zero, zero. Similarly, at the end, if I bring this last dot to the ground, it turns zero. So, well, the sound has to start from nothing and end with nothing. So if it's like uh, floating like that, there would be uh, some note that didn't end. So that's not a good thing. So you always make sure that both ends are white. And the typical 
uh, envelope, so the called envelope or sound, the shape of the sound looks like this. Initial attack, initial decay, sustain, and release. Right? It's, it's like an envelope of sounds. Very classic look of that. So um, the default, I wrote like three seconds, five seconds, four seconds, that's a long sound. This one, the default, is one second long. So here it says zero, here it says 1,000, x is 1,000, y is zero, amplitude is zero. Okay? And here the y is one, the mix maximum amplitude. Um, so that's the, that's the um, default. So what you do is you connect the second outlet of this guy, a function, which, which says all points in line format. So this one, oops, no. <laughs> go over to line there like that and then we're not done yet you have to send a, a bang button to generate a sound so I turn on nothing yet because I'm connected to the line segment which is active now so it's zero it's sending multiplied by zero there's nothing but as soon as I um, click on the bang watch and here see there that was my sound you see the shape corresponding to this guy so if I change the shape to something like awfully strange envelope and watch here see it did that there you go so that's the function table introduction so instead of doing this long thing you can just edit points like that um, of course, you can change the length of uh, your sound by sending a message called set domain. And as we learned, the dollar sign, the loath hated dollar sign, which think of it as X. So you could send in a millisecond uh, length. So I want four second of sound. Now it's going to be a long weird note whoa, whoa whoa there you go um, <laughs> or nicer more elegant uh, I don't know if this is elegant but here you go I'd say it's more elegant wouldn't you say I, I like this uh, general shape of like a Ocean shape it, uh, usually is very useful for a lot of performance um, parameters like that, o like wave shape. You know, linear or um, how do you call it, exponential is never really musical as I find. Um, so I don't know why those things are usually the default. I think this should be the default. <laughs> I mean, at least for me, it's something like this. See, this is not nice. Well, I can be editing this all day and forget to eat. There it is. Anyway, okay, so that's the function and you can change your time and so on.